Um, congrats on the win, Coach. Well, that was a pretty uh, game of two halves, you can say. Um, what did what did you what kind of adjustments did you make at halftime? Uh, specifically, obviously taking Alex out of the game, but um, what other adjustments did you make to kind of change the game and lock things down more? I think we played really good in the first half, but we didn't defend um, good enough in the back four. And as individually, we did uh, some stupid uh, decisions, and um, and we get punished for that because we should have been two, at least two goals up into that break. But um, we give away too much uh, easy goals, um, and then uh, the second half we we kept them away from the goal, and that was good. And we get our goal, so I think we we won. We fully deserved to win, um, but we should have shouldn't have made it so so exciting or like it like it uh, got in the end. So um, we should have won more comfortably. Okay, Christian, you hear me? If you can, go ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, good game, uh, Ronnie. Um, uh, so, um, four three score line, pretty chaotic. Uh, how do you feel about your team's performances in both the first half and then in the second half? How do you feel at? How do you? How did you feel the game flow? Did you? Did you feel that you executed everything that you needed to do in the second half? I think we were very good prepared. I think we did. Uh... Offensively, we were so dangerous in the first half. Uh, we defended uh, individually not good enough. I think it was not about lack of uh, lack of uh, organization. It was more about first ball check, second balls, and they drop in the areas that we we didn't cover. And um, so it's uh, for me it was we shouldn't be we should be two game two goals up in the, after the first half. Um, having said that. Fourth win in a row. Uh, we played on a, the pitch is not good. It's a lot as a bumpy, so we have to play more direct than we normally do. And um, uh, yeah, and it was uh, again a away game. Um, they had lost one time before here, and we are the second to beat them. So um, it's a credit to the boys. They are keep on performing, keep on winning. Um, today we get a lot of goals. We offensively really good but we need to get back to our normal standard in the in the defense work okay reminder if you have a question please raise your hand i don't see any other raised hands but i'm sure there's other questions I, michael ander i know that last time it didn't work for you so if you have a question go ahead ronnie just curious uh you know what you feel and like your prep, your preparation is going to be for the uh, for the game in Columbus. I think it's going to be in Orlando. Yes, in Orlando. So uh, the preparation is going to be, you know, we, we have a plan. Uh, we have to know what, what day we're going to play at first, and then we will execute that plan. But uh, it's about doing a lot of the same things that we've done all the time. Um, it's uh, late in the season, so we need to. <coughs> Of course, also um, make it um, not too hard, so we so we keep um, keep our shape in uh, good. So it's about finding good balance between rest and train good, and um, enjoying. Looking forward to um, a playoff game. It's um, we have done a really really good uh, autumn, um, and um, just. That's uh, what we deserve now to, to get into the playoffs and, and we, we're going to enjoy it and, and get the best out of ourselves. I, I think there's an issue with the raise hand, so I'm just going to call on whoever uh, sends me a message in the chat. But Glenn, go ahead. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Ronnie, congrats. Uh, you're, uh, and you went over it a little bit, your decision uh, to, to make an adjustment at halftime and Collins came out and Ibiaga in. So. It would seem that you're holding kind of a little bit responsible for some of the things that went on in the first half. Uh, I think you know I had needed to do some adjustment um, into that, uh, and also I wanted to give Seb some minutes. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen now with the national team um, into now, so that's also one reason. So if Kainz is leaving, we don't know that yet for hundred percent, but there can be a possibility then. Uh, and also it's important to get Seb uh, going. 
Are you waiting to still see if he'll be invited in and then make a club decision sort of like before? Will it be the same kind of process? Uh, we'll see. We, uh, you know, it's um, it's uh, something the club is working with right now. But uh, it's some change of rules and that's um, causing uh, different uh, challenges. So we have to we have to see tomorrow what's what's happening. Thank you, John Muller. John, can you hear us? You're off mute. Okay, we'll come back to you. Michael Allen. Yeah, Ronnie, uh, congratulations on the result today. Uh, it was a little crazy game back and forth. I almost had a feeling of a playoff game with you guys needing a result and with Chicago needing a result at the same time. Uh, going forward off of this game, how does that affect your prep for a game like today and then going forward against the game against Orlando and the thinking during the game? You just mentioned, you know, you wanted to give Ebiaga some minutes. Did that factor into the other substitutes that you were making today as well? Uh, I think I, I did it to, to so of course, we have a good squad. I want to use uh, use it and also we there's a lot of running today. so. Um, we had to do some uh, some changes, and that's uh, they went in and did a good job, everybody of them, and um, we stopped uh, lacking uh, lacking uh, goal chances, mistakes. We stopped having the, those things in the second half, and that was good as well. So we adjust as a team that, and, um, and we scored a goal to win. So. Um, as I said, it was a tough pitch to play at, um, and as I know, the team we play against who, who had to win, so so it was going both ways all the time. But I think we had good control in the second half, and uh, and uh, in the end, we, we get the goal we we deserve to to get, and uh, we deserve to win as well. Does the playoff uh, format change your prep for the next game? Like the the way that you're not just playing for three points, you're playing to advance in the tournament. We'll see. We'll see. There's always things to. It depends on what kind of team we meet. Now we meet Orlando. Uh, they are a good teams, so that's going to be tough, of course. But we we have to have um, a game plan ready uh, in fourteen days. Um, but to change a lot of things, that's uh, I don't think that's uh, a clever idea. Thanks, Randy. Thanks a lot. Okay, Alonso Contreras. How are you, coach? Um, regardless of Callens leaving or not, but how do you feel that now the South American qualifiers will be prior to the first uh, playoff game for the MLS Cup? Thank you. One more time, please. So, uh, regardless if Callens leave or not, uh, how do you feel the uh, South American qualifiers to to road to Qatar 2022 will be prior the first game of a uh, playoff? I mean, for the MLS. I think he's asking how do you feel that there's an international break right before the first okay, game yeah. of the playoffs. Oh, it's not positive, of course. I think the playoffs is, uh, if you're going to have my opinion or, uh, opinion about playoffs, if that is the most important thing in a season, uh, I think it's crazy that it's one game. You know, when you see basketball and ice hockey, they play seven times against each other, and now we play one game and it's one away or at home, and then you, you're out or in. That is like, uh, and if that is the winner during a season, when you have played the... Uh, not so many this year, but normally 34 games. Then it's for me very, very strange. But uh, but uh, it's not my responsibility. Uh, this is like a cup, you know. It's, uh, it's one game, and and uh, the, everything can happen in these kind of games. We need just to prepare, have fun, enjoy it, and get our out our quality out on the pitch. And then we you know we can beat everybody. We from uh, from the bubble until now, we uh, we maybe have been. I don't know, but uh, one of the top top teams. We have, uh, I think we have 11-3-3 or something uh, with the victory draw. Uh, lost the the last uh, 17 games, and that's a strong message that we we can beat anybody. And uh, we are in a good way moment now. We have four victories in a row, and uh, I'm I'm proud of the boys. I think they they're performing, get better and better every day. Um, and they have a lot of confidence into the playoffs, so we just have to keep momentum and uh, and do the things that we have done all the time. But uh, of course, it's going to be an extra energy into it, and we we're looking forward to it. 
Okay, we'll do two more. John Muller. Hey, Ronnie, can you guys hear me this time? Yep. Okay. On Friday, NYCFC appeared to confirm a former intern's allegations that David Villa sexually harassed her and that at least one current employee was involved. Since that woman came forward in July, what changes have you seen NYCFC make to make sure that never happens again? I think, you know, uh, this is a th matter that is very, very serious for a club to take it very seriously. But uh, I'm not the right person to, to talk about it because I was not here when uh, this incident was happening. So, so I think it's better that you ask uh, the people who are there and, and uh, there's more a club thing than a, than a coach thing. Okay, Glenn Crux, final question. Glenn. Yeah, I, okay, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, I said we talked about some of the, the misgivings on the defensive side, but on the attacking side, nine goals in two matches. Uh, it, it seems like, uh, it almost seems like you, you don't want to stop playing now because you really have your rhythm. Yeah, that's true. And uh, Tati was unbelievable today. He was, uh, in my opinion, man of the match. He was all over the pitch. He, he destroyed the central defenders. And uh, his, uh, the two last games now, he's been uh, flying. So just keep focus on the right things, the same things. And, um, you know, we have a striker now who, who can uh, make a lot of damage. And then Maxi behind him. Um, we have two wingers like Gary. I've never seen Gary as good as he is now. Jesus has been performing. Ringi, really, really good today. Keaton is performing. You know, it's uh, on the defense. We know we have played good for a long, long time now. So, so it's like um, we are we are very conf uh, confident. And but uh, you know, we, we we need to be humble and we need to need to understand as a playoff game is a different ball game, and we we need to we need to be ready, but uh, with a smile on our face. That's important because. Um, it's uh, then, then we are at the best.